I'm heading somewhere super freaking amazing. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. en route to go see if uh get a second opinion about my van so i drove all the way here and i'm gonna tell you what happened Um, okay, so basically I got to the tire spot and I talked to the dude and I was like, hey, I bought this van from a customer here. She told me to come here. And he was like, oh yeah, yeah, he knew what I was talking about. And uh, he said, you know, if there's a crack in the head gasket, it wouldn't have passed smog. And I was like, well, that's not what my mechanic said. He didn't say there's a crack in the head gasket. Um, and then I showed him the pictures and he was like, well, I can't look at it today because uh, you have to make an appointment. We're just super busy. And I was like, all right. And he was like, but honestly, like, if you already had a mechanic look at it, like, there's not much that I can do for you. So I'm excited. It looks like I was just texting with Dave, and I think he might come today and just, like, check out my van. <laughs> I guess there's, like, some uh, stuff that you can put in there that'll stop certain things. So he's going to see if that might be an option for me. And he was saying that, you know, in the old days, uh, lots of cars got oil leaks, and people just, you know, kept driving them, and it was fine. Like, sometimes there's a little drip, you know, in the driveway or something like that, but it wasn't much to worry about. You see it? Yeah. What is it? The white stuff, you know. Um, Do you see the uh, where the coolant would be yeah. leaking? I'm just trying to see how if it goes all the way back or it's just up here in the front of what I hear. It's red, yeah. That's, ah. that's the only thing is this deck stuff is red, I guess. Is this enough light? Yeah. Yeah, ideally, I want to stop when I see it kind of fill up down in the bottom of that thing, though. Okay. Shine it straight down in there, yeah. I love the runny yolk. And then I really like dipping stuff in them, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mom would always get her eggs for breakfast over easy. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there was lots of runny yolk mm -hmm. left. A sprouted bread, mm -hmm. and there's no, it's like a flourless bread. So there's no, it's like made from sprouted mm -hmm. um, greens. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is one of my favorite things to eat. <laughs> Super healthy. Mm -hmm. That's my daughter, you know. You don't get enough protein, you eat eggs all the time, you lots of eggs. Good one to get it going. Yes. The engine's hot, so I'm obviously not going to open anything here. I saw someone do that once and it was really freaking scary, so never open that when the engine's really hot. But looking at my overflow, I can see that like an inch, inch and a half has leaked out already because I can see where the fluid ends. I don't know if you guys can see, but I can tell. So Dave filled it up to the full and it's like almost two inches below where it was. I think we're totally good to make it to Mendo. Some of you guys may have seen the video uh, of me visiting my friend on this property before. I made it a while ago and I kind of left in an interesting way. Like I was planning on staying there a lot longer or like longer because that's when I was living in my car full time. But I ended up leaving before I thought I would just because the vibes were a little bit weird. Just because me and my friend were kind of on different pages of what we wanted out of each other, you know. Uh, just so you know, for anyone who watched that video, we are definitely now on the same page. We're just good friends and that's it. I'm like, all right, he's in the boonies. How long is it gonna take him to go to the store and back? <laughs> Do you like umeboshi plums? Have you ever had one? 
I just got in the van. <gasps> My little dude was in here all by himself because Bodhi's got two dogs, so I left him in here and he greeted me at the door. It was really sweet. It's like 9.40, 9.40 p.m. and I think I'm going to just get ready. So I just came in here to check on Ambrose, but <laughs> I think I'm gonna stay in here. I changed, I'm in my pajamas now, got my shirt, my sweatpants. Little bro was so happy to see me. He was like waiting by the door, you know? So I just wanna be in here with him. I didn't know I was going to bed, so I didn't really say like, I'm going to bed now. <gasps> so it's kind of funny if I don't go back, but uh, I feel good being in here. I got my Kindle, I'm just gonna read and go to bed. I'm having one of those like weird hair days. I'm trying to put my hair up and I'm like, oh, that doesn't look good. And then I'm trying to put it up a different way. And I'm like, oh my God, what the heck is going on? Ow! I never should have bit my belly button piercing. And then I'm like, hmm, well, maybe if I wear it down, uh, but it's so tangly. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but at least I'm going tea. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was seeing this thing on Facebook and it was like, oh my God, like amazing results from this blackhead thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see if it works. Why I decided to give it a go is I saw Brian Turner on there. I don't know if you know who that is, but he's a fellow YouTuber and he has history with acne stuff. And a few years ago, I watched one of his videos where he was explaining how this acne company reached out to him and we're gonna offer him all this money to promote their product, even though he didn't use it and he denied it and stuff like that. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. <laughs> it's like you put it on your face and then it dries and it sucks all the blackheads out. And then you take a cloth and you wipe them off. And if you've had bigger pores, they all shrunk, they're all blackhead free, they're all acne free, and you just have this amazing clear face of amazing. Are you finally gonna get these freaking blackheads out of my face? All right, <laughs> I'm the mask, I'm Jim Carrey. Let's wipe off and see. Okay, when they wipe it off, it's like, you see all this black stuff there, and it's like, oh my God. Is that gonna happen? Is that gonna happen? Black stuff? Black stuff. Where are you, black stuff? Feeling scammed. I think I paid $24 <laughs> for that tiny ass little thing and it's not even gonna work. See, they freaking prey on you. They're like, oh, you got an issue? This is how it's gonna be dealt with. Look at this miraculous thing and uh, suckered me in. I'm about to look at my pores. This is a magnifying mirror. If there is no blackheads in there, this will show me. Dang! All my blackheads still up in my nose, all right. <laughs> and I usually don't fall for the trap of buying something that looks too good to be true, but I'm, I just so want to not have blackheads in my face anymore. I'm not a happy customer. <laughs> Do they have a money back guarantee? I honestly feel like I might contact them. So that's where I'm at with that. Thank y'all for watching. Damn them, damn them. Bengal spice mixed with a Lapsang Sushan pure black tea. Neither of these teas are organic, and I don't know, for me that's a little bit weird. I always go for organic stuff when possible. Our friend Amrita came over for a party and she was wearing this like incredible vest. It was fuzzy. You guys know how I love fuzzy things. It was long, it was fitted, it was just like spectacular. It's super unique, like something different than anything I've seen before. And so I where she got it she got it at this thrift store i feel like a lot of the thrift stores have gotten so expensive so it's like a breath of fresh air when you go somewhere and you see a bunch of things that are just like five bucks like yeah this is a used thing you know it wasn't it should be five bucks <laughs> I got some pants that I didn't show you guys and then those three tops that I showed you. Some of you guys pointed out something to me that I didn't know. So when I saw Brian Turner in the ad, it was a Facebook ad. I never saw his video actually debunking it. So I just assumed that he was hired by that company because I didn't know, I didn't know that there was like companies out there doing that. I mean, you know, I guess, but they used his footage without permission according to some of you guys. And I just think that is the most freaking effed up thing. I didn't even know that could happen. For one thing, I knew I wanted to make a YouTube video about it, so I didn't want to be influenced by anybody else. So that's why I just got it and made my video. I didn't look into it at all, except for the thing that I saw on Facebook. You're in the fridge. Uh, all right, now the scary part. I got these two things. 
This I'm gonna cook right now. fryer more i don't know it feels like are you gonna be dry this is so weird eating chicken that i cooked i don't know it's good i feel like a carnivore it's so weird before this video, she made another one which is now deleted because I can't seem to find it where she talked about her period and not having it for about two years. She mentioned she didn't even wear underwear because there was no need <laughs> and she said that she tried a bunch of things and her last resort was eating meat. She started to eat meat and about a week later she claimed she was ovulating again. Some people were skeptical of the sudden change. Uh, others were upset because she wasn't vegan slash vegetarian anymore. And the rest was mostly supportive of this decision. I can't tell you how nice it is to like have everything working, you know? It's like, oh, my hormones are working as they should. Progesterone, estrogen, the follicle stimulating hormone. Um, you know, after not having a period for two years, it's like, is everything working down there? Like, am I defective? Um, so it's just so nice that it all happened so quickly and I got it you know so it's just weird it's so weird oh my gosh it's so weird so I ate chicken twice lamb once cow once within a week ovulating within three weeks period <laughs> sorry if it feels like I'm justifying why I'm making the decision that I make I know I get a lot of comments from people like you don't have to justify anything and I, I agree I don't it's just, this is something that's so close to like my heart and my beliefs and you know, how I've been raised and it's just tricky and it's difficult. And it's almost like I have to justify it to myself as well. You know, like it's okay, star. <laughs> Am I gonna go to this party all by myself? I've been in like serious hermit mode. I mean, I am a lot. Not just because like, I don't really have friends and stuff. <laughs> and when you don't have friends, you don't get invited to things that often. Um, so I'm just so used to keeping to myself. Another thing too is that I was kind of dating someone a little bit um, that I know is going to be there. And we kind of are in a weird space with each other. <laughs> Um, just because I am a little bit unsure whether or not like they're the right person for me so I don't know if I should I'm just not sure what to do about the connection if it's right or not so I'm just thinking about it and then I got kind of a weird message from them of just how they're feeling about it and then it made me feel weird and then uh, I was supposed to hang out with them but then I just never did because I got into my weird hermit mode as well with all the hormones and just I don't know <laughs> So, yeah, because he invited me. It's actually a paid party. Like, it's not just a party. It's like a party venue. Um, so he invited me and, like, gave me a guest list ticket. And then uh, Soji, who you guys might remember from previous videos, um, he has some guest list tickets. And then he invited us as well. So that's another variable. My big box of meat is coming either today, tomorrow, or the next day. So I want to plug this freezer in so that when it gets here, there is going to be a place for it to go. It's kind of in the middle of all this stuff, but I'm liking the fact that I see a plug right there. That is a good sign. The only thing is I'm having difficulty finding the actual plug to the fridge. Kind of all piled on top of each other. This is actually one of my mom's acupuncture tables, but then 
We've got a bunch of amps, drums. Here's some more drums. There's a bunch of drums. These are like keyboards and stuff. Here is a drum tree, uh, speakers, more drums. This is a cool musical like marimba instrument. Uh, some more like musical stuff. And then here, there's like this keyboard setup thing, musical instrument, drums. This is a piano, like a little piano. Uh, it's not quite set up, but that's what it is. Some more marimba stuff, uh, drum set, more drums. No, it's actually a really good thing to get done. I haven't had a female exam like that in a long time, and I figure it'd be a really good idea. Granted, the only person I've slept with since Patrick has been Arnie, but don't really matter because, you know, if you're not sleeping around, but the person that you're sleeping with is sleeping around, or that you slept with is sleeping around, it's basically you sleeping around anyway. I have just been violated. <laughs> and as you can see, everything here comes frozen. These are my marrow bones. Wow, this is three pounds. Um, fun fact about me, I never use a microwave. I think I've used a microwave literally a handful of times in my life. So if I'm heating stuff up, I'm either heating it up on the stove, steaming it or something like that, or, oh, this is gonna be so good, I'm so excited. Or like I'm doing right now, um, heat it up in the oven or. Feast your eyes on this incredibleness in front of us. I have made an egg taco and it looks quite spectacular. I wonder if I could be a fan. I find a song, I'm like, dang, I'm feeling this song. And then it's like the end of the song and it freaking ends. And then the next song comes on and I'm like, what the heck is this? I don't like this song. So I flip around my presets and I'm like, oh, there's no song that I like. And then I'll do the seek and it'll scroll through and I'll be like, ugh, I don't like that. And then it'll get to a song that I'm into and then we repeat the whole process. Yes, I did take the hair out. To be fair, I took it out at John's before I left, so it wasn't just for the appearance of the grocery store. Although I didn't know I was going to the grocery store, I wanted to take my home with it. <laughs> but I went through a phase where I wore little boys t-shirts like I would say the majority of my wardrobe was little boys t-shirts and I wore them almost every day. And honestly, I'm really glad I grew out of that phase in my life because I thought I was looking real fly. <gasps> real fly, I thought I was looking real fly. But you know, I wasn't. It was like there was so much cuter clothes out there for me. I feel like now at this present moment in my life, I have like the most diversified wardrobe of like feminine looking things and like I have more dresses now and skirts now than I think I've ever had like did I tell you before that they were little boys clothes I probably did but yeah they were I mean this is <gasps> I hope I'm not falling back into a pattern oh yeah dried crusty boogers eh this is what he just brought me what the hell this is not a toy this is what I've been sleeping on so this is my blankets and then here's a sheet and then I have I've been sleeping on top of these three wool blankets here and then on top of this thick rug so no mat or anything but this thick cushy rug which is a lot better than a lot of rugs it's the reason I'm sleeping here and not I have a bed platform with tatami mats but this is just so much more comfortable this will all be not there anymore even when it is folded up like I just take this like this and fold it up like that and then it's just like there I'm so annoying myself right now in this video and I was like there's no way that people are gonna watch this video and just not be super annoyed by me and I was like instead of me just putting this out into the world as a normal vlog and just seeing what people's reactions were I just wanted to let you guys know that I knew how annoying it was before I put it out there
this is my desk this is where i do all my editing and i would like to think i would sit like this but it's so low that this is me like this and it's been years of me doing this at this point and it's really affecting my spine and it is not good i'm liking this it's a little bit taller it's not like super tall I feel like maybe this is perfect. I mean, I could still like hunch over like this, but there's another thing I really like about this as well. So this is me relaxing in the bed. So that's nice. I could put my computer on and watch something, or if it needs to be closer to me, it'll be really easy just to grab it from there and bring it closer. <sighs> this bed feels like a success. Ambrose is happy on here. I think we're gonna get lots of really good snuggle action. I used to get lip injections. I got them. I think for like two years and I got them like four or five times, something like that. Last time I got them, I was still with Patrick and it was actually right before we went to New Zealand and then split up. So that was years ago um, and I haven't got them since then. The thing I feel like it's really interesting about lip injections is even though it's been years since I got them, I still feel some in there. Like it's not all out and they recommend you get them done like every six months. Like it's gonna dissolve and you have to keep getting them done. And from my experience, you need them done if you wanna keep getting them. You need them done way less than they recommend or else they're gonna like move around and then you're gonna have stuff over here. And you wanna avoid having to get any dissolved if you do decide to get lip injections because it can actually dissolve some of your own natural collagen, which I actually, when I first was getting them done, like some was going out and then I got some dissolved. I didn't know this information or else I wouldn't have. I would've just let it calm down by itself. Another thing I've, I feel that's interesting is like sometimes my lips are more full than other times. Like sometimes I'll look in the mirror and I'll, I'll be like, wow, my lips are so full. And then other times it'll look like they're not. So I'm wondering maybe it has to do with like how hydrated I am or different variables or if the water is going to whatever the lip stuff is that they were injected with. I really don't know. But even though it's been years, I'm going to tell you what, I definitely, it's like there's still stuff in there. And if I'm fully honest, I don't mind if it stays in there. <laughs> But I'd rather not get them done again. I hope I don't. <laughs> I, oh my goodness, a break in the water. So the water is gonna be off for six to eight hours. I better get hurried up on my cleaning. Something I really enjoy about when I'm house sitting or when I have a house to myself or when I'm living by myself is I just feel free. I feel like I can do whatever I want. I feel like there's no one judging what I'm doing at all. I feel like I can be as messy as I want. If I want to leave dishes in the sink for like three days, it's all good. So whoever I end up eventually being with, I just hope that we're like really compatible and just like best friends and understand each other and like don't judge each other and let each other fully be ourselves or themselves you know when we're at home and the home environment can just be really free and enjoyable space you're in my freezer <laughs> let's spread it wow look at that <laughs> look at that oh my gosh this is amazing i'm eating bone marrow how crazy is that all this good, fatty, oily stuff. But honestly, for me, because I eat lots of food that's more simple, like egg yolks by themselves are really good. They don't need salt. Like that is really good. It doesn't need salt, but adding the salt is another yummy dimension. Just like some people who are really big on eating lots of fruit and like sugar will literally add sugar to a big fruit smoothie full of ripe sweet, ripe sweet fruit, which to me, <laughs> I would never do that. Personally, I don't think enough people are eating bone marrow because when you think about it, the cows that get killed for their meat, the bone marrow isn't, like most people aren't eating it, you know, but there's an abundant supply of bone marrow out there and it's actually nutrient rich. Who remembers? me telling you guys that I do not wear underwear. I just came to a conclusion, underwear is an unnecessary clothing item. So this is the kind of underwear that when I did wear underwear, uh, I wore this. A girl does go commando, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I do. But sometimes it can be really scary going commando if you are 
having kind of like a flowy skirt. So I'm thinking maybe this just isn't the right direction for me. The van life and the camping. So this just is not working out the way I thought. <laughs> 